Okay, so we um, are going to be now looking for red violet, okay? Um, that is our next tertiary that we're going to be looking at. So we're going now between red, which is our primary, and then violet, which is the secondary that we made previously. So between red and violet, it, it lives red violet, okay? Here is a swatch of red violet that I have made previously, which I think is quite a good um, estimation of, you know, that hue midpoint. Um, you can really see that flash of red when you look across the border between the red violet and the violet, right? Nice flash of red. When you look between the border or across the border or at the border, um, between the red violet and the red, you see a nice flash of blue sort of right there, um, which is a good indication that we have kind of a good balance between how much red is in the red violet and how much violet is in the red violet, okay? Um, the vi <laughs> violet, red violet, everything is a little bit tricky here, right? Um, because our... We have, you know, the primary magenta makes a decent violet. It's not the best, right, in terms of the pigment because um, it's probably a bit too warm to make a really vibrant, clear, you know, beautiful, um, you know, clean violet. It ends up being a little bit brownish, which you will notice um, when you mix. Don't worry about that. You will have to simply live with that. Um, so you know, it's really, as long as you're using the, the colors that we go over um, and you're being careful about the amount of, of white, right? And you're being careful of how much red and how much violet you, you know, you're using in that mix, um, you, you're going to be okay. Okay. Um, all right. So now, right, if we remember, we're looking at um, our, which red, you know, basically we have some proportion to make red violet. We have red and we have blue, right? Those are the same things that we use to make, um, the violet here. It's the same ingredients except for just a different proportion, right? So remember, um, we're going to pick the red that's already leaning towards violet anyway. If we pick the other one, you, that's going to give you a really muddy, neutral that's not you know violet really at all okay so let's get that out of there um we've got our primary magenta and remember we're choosing our two blues the phthalo blue is out because it's greenish and that is also going to make muddiness okay so we're going to use our blue our ultramarine blue which is already purpley okay so just these two and then a little bit a smidge maybe a little more than a smidge, we'll see, um, of white, okay? Now, just based on the way these pigments mix, this is really, right, you'll find out, relatively speaking, that your blue is pretty strong, okay? Um, and in the grand scheme of things, remember, in order to make that violet, we used equal parts, right? So we're gonna definitely have to use more of our primary magenta, right, more of our red, it to make our red violet here okay so it's mo it's going to be a lot more or well, a fair amount more of our primary magenta a little bit of blue and an even slightly smaller amount of white okay just to bring up that the value of the of the color okay all right so let's do this all right so we're gonna go we're actually gonna go and this again is the back of a palette sheet so it's gonna not mix great one two, three, a little bit more, and four, right? Um, woo, four blobs of your primary magenta, one, maybe a slightly smaller blob, right? Like one blob of your ultramarine blue, and even a smaller blob, Ugh, if I can get the white open, even a smaller amount, right? Just a little bit. 
maybe a tiny bit more, a little bit of white. We might go and put a little bit more in, you know, we'll see, okay? So now I'm just going to scrape these all up quickly Woo. and mash, mash, mash. Yeah, we have the white is tricky in this, right? Because we don't want to, we really don't want it to be that influential here. Um, so it's possible already that could be too, you know, too much white, but we'll see. And I may actually need more red. You also want the value of this red violet, you know, to be, it's going to be between the values, right? Red violet hue is lighter than violet and it is darker than red. Um, to me, this looks like it's got a little bit much white in it. And it also, if I'm comparing it, right, a little bit much white and it really needs a little bit more red in it too. All right. So I'm going to, just pop in a little bit more of my Primer Magenta. Actually, I may, here, I may really do that. And maybe not even go, oops, I might pipe the tiniest bit of um, Ultramarine in there just simply to get rid of some of that. That might be too much. Just to get counteract the white. I can always add a little bit more of the red back, you know, back in if need be. This might be fine though. Looks like it may actually be really pretty good. Okay. Although it still feels a little bit light to me. But again, remember this will dry down, so maybe this is okay. You really don't want too much white in this because, but you know, it's, it gets trickier. The violets, right, in that whole violet, red violet, um, and blue violet, I think are, and when you get in the cooler part of the color wheel, things get a little bit trickier. All right, let's see. I still, again, think we probably want to go a little bit redder, maybe a little bit more of this. That's not bad. I keep, you know, I'm trying to estimate what's going to happen when this um, dries down a little darker. Let's give that a try. And this time I'm not going to add back any of the blue, I don't think. Maybe I should though. Oh, this might be pretty good actually. All right. All right. Let's do a test. Um, it's still possible this is too white, but we'll do a test before this gets too dried out. And again, you want nice opaque coverage. Oh, I still think this might have too much white in it. Okay, but, oh, and it still feels a little blue, doesn't it? Let's look. Yeah. Well, we'll see, right? This will dry down a little bit. To me, that looks like it might be still a little bit too close to violet, but let's check it out and see that might be okay right i mean that might be okay um as we look at it i still think yeah i st i feel like it's a little bit too close it feels a little bit cool to me so i am gonna go ahead then and still add more right my blobs um might have been a little off 
in terms of the amount. So let's really, let's go in there with more of this. And then we can probably actually go back in with a little more ultramarine because I still think we maybe the white is playing too big a role in there too, okay? Um, which I don't like. That's also going to cool it down some. All right, so let's get all of that red in there. Or that primary magenta, we should call it accurately. And then mash, mash, mash. Maybe a little more red, sorry about this. There's a lot of red here. There we go. All right, so definitely I don't think we want to get any redder than this, do we? And again, I don't know how much the absorption, you know, of this paper is affecting our proportions here, but let's try that. I think, good, this is getting to be, I think, more in the ballpark of really what we want. Okay, so let's compare those two. So that to me, right, you can see there's a little less coolness there. Oh, oh, right. If we look at the difference, right. Um, it's <laughs> this is harder to see on here. There's you can see more of the influence of the red here, um, and I think that's a good thing. Um, oh, I think the biggest concern will be how does this dry down I think it's going to dry down to pretty close to what this is which is a good thing all right so here let's push these together and I think we should be able to see then yeah okay so I think that's a better mix you can see there's a little bit more red in there and I feel like the flashes of red against this border between the red violet and violet you can see that flash of red here, you can see that flash of blue when you look at it across the red, red-violet border. So that's pretty, let's say that's a nice, um, even mixture, okay? And again, it'll have this little bit of this brownish tinge to it. Um, don't worry about that, that there's, that's unavoidable, okay? All right.